All right, if you've been seeing more mosquitoes outside, yeah, you're not alone. The wet weather's given them good conditions for breeding and growing. And with more mosquitoes, people to be aware of the West Nile virus. First news reporter Megan Lee is live tonight with the story. Yeah, I was out and about all day today, um, especially out by Mill Creek Park, where people were out walking in between the rain, and they said the mosquitoes were out and they were biting them. So it's important to stay cautious because mosquitoes can potentially carry the West Nile virus. I spoke with the health department of Mahoney County, and they said that, you know, it is, it's not in this area right now, but it could be. They're testing it every day just to be cautious, but they gave me some insight into it. Mosquitoes are always around. However, they do prefer hot weather. The valley has been experiencing warmer temperatures along with many rainy days. This is the ideal temperature for the bugs. Many people find them when they are outside. Some mosquitoes can even carry the West Nile virus. Every year, uh, we're told basically just uh, expect that it's going to be here. Expect that you're going to have it somewhere around. Uh, because it's essentially endemic to this area. Masters said that the Mahoney County Public Health has a mosquito control plan that is currently in action. So far, they have not had any mosquitoes test positive for West Nile this year. Last year, a local family was impacted by West Nile. It only comes from a mosquito bite, and actually, Halloween weekend, um, you know, we had been outside. We live in the park. You know, we cook outside a lot. It's football season. And, um, that's when he had gotten the mosquito bite. Denise O'Neill and her son Patrick explained how scary it was to experience the West Nile virus. Patrick was just 16 when he was bit by a mosquito that carried the virus. He experienced a fever and fatigue, as well as neurological issues. Doctors told him it could have been worse if he was older. If it would have been myself or my husband, we may not have made it. The public health department recommends wearing mosquito repellent that has 15 to 30 percent DEET concentration, as well as using citronella candles to try to keep mosquitoes away. Along with those, uh, the repellent and the citronella candles, I was speaking with the O'Neill family, and they said they get their um, backyard sprayed every few weeks. That kind of keeps the mosquitoes away. You could also have a mesh tent, wearing long sleeves or pants if the weather allows it. But you know, just be cautious this summer and you know into the uh, fall because those are warmer temperatures. Live in Boardman, Megan Lee, WKBN 27 First News.